morning and welcome to our first full day here in Florida and true to form we were up bright and early we were up at four o'clock honestly I don't get jet lag we stayed awake till 11 o'clock US time and we were still up at four o'clock I just don't get it so this morning it was still dark honestly all you could hear was the crickets outside we grabbed a coffee we jumped in the car and we made an hour's drive down to Daytona Beach down up West I don't know but we made it to Daytona Beach and we've gone to the world's largest gas station now you must be thinking I'm crazy but I watched a video a few years ago Cara and Nate a big travel vloggers they went to Bucky's in Texas and ever since I saw that vlog I wanted to go to Texas just to go to this gas station but then I found out last year one opened up here in Daytona Beach so I said to get in the first thing that we need to do when we get to Florida we have to go to Bucky's and find out what it's all about just in case you wanted ice and you thought they were gonna run out don't worry because it just keeps going and going and going if you want to represent Bucky's around the pool, you can actually get a swimming costume. <laughs> I've seen it all now. Oh my gosh, that is super cute. Right, I don't even know where to start. Um, I can smell the food. Yeah, I'm going to go get a brisket burrito. Honestly, I don't think there's anything that you cannot find here in this gas station. They have everything. <laughs> Where'd you start? Oh, I bet that's nice again. Sausage and egg and cheese biscuit. I've heard you need to try these, but there's lots of different flavors. I would thought I'd go for the original, or do we go for the cheddar ones, the spicy ones, the cinnamon? Honestly, the flavors just keep going on and on. Which ones? You wanna go these ones? We can. Yeah, grab them ones. What burrito did you go for in the end? The rhino taco. The rhino taco? But look at that, ghost pepper. Do you know how spicy that is? 200,000 skull in. It's 89 cents for a medium, 109 for a large, and 119 for an extra large. Look at the size on the extra large. Let me see the size on it when you pull it out. Okay, oh my goodness. Which one? You're going to go for a punch, yeah? I can't get over the size. If I got a coffee that size, I would literally not sleep for a week. 99 cents for a small, 119 medium, 139 large, and 159 extra large. They sell their house blend. I'm tempted to get some. Yeah, it tastes so good. You okay there, Carter? The beaver tots. <laughs> I love it. And then they've got everything for your house. It just doesn't stop. It's never ending. We got a bit of a collection, haven't we? Right, I'm going to try a beaver top first. Mmm. They're so good. The They're green... salty, or? Mmm, they are salty. The green sauce is um, um, guacamole. Oh, is it? Well, it's really good. You get a full, like, cup full for $2.99. You want some of them? I'm going to try Tyler's breakfast burrito. This has got bacon, hash brown and egg in it. They've really jam-packed this, haven't they? That's really good. And their oh, breakfast yeah. burrito was $7.99. I did buy the beaver nuggets, which I'll try in just a second. Oh, Tyler, what did you buy? Cookie dough chocolate chip cookies, they're yours. Right, I'm going to try mine now. I just bought the sausage biscuit. And this one oh was $3.99. I must be the only one who likes biscuit in America. These guys don't like biscuit. And to show you how big that drink was, this is the extra large compared to my head. <laughs> if it's as big as your head. Ooh. What did you get? We've all just demolished breakfast and now we're going to try the beaver nuggets. How much were these, Jeff? Do you know? I don't even know what these are like meant to be. If oh, they're, what? I don't know. Or oh, crisps. Fresh. Yeah. I'm still none the wiser. They're a cross between popcorn and a crisp. Do you want to try one? Do you want to try one? They're nice though. I can't work out what they are. They're really good though. Mm. I think they're like coffee no. popcorn. You don't like them? No. No? They're really nice, I like them. I like them too. I think they're, they're like a crisp in a syrup. 
I like them. Universal Hotels and Volcano Bay. I definitely want to try there. Are we doing Volcano Bay after? Don't know. Today is a day of shopping. We've just driven an hour out to go to Bucky's and now on the way back the boys want to stop at Walmart. Honestly, this is like their Disney World coming to Walmart. I got a feeling I'm gonna have a trolley full of stuff. You mean business when you get a trolley? <laughs> it's heavy, is it? <laughs> so look above your head. They're cool, aren't they? Do you want to go left or do you want to go right? Left? They actually have a McDonald's in their supermarket. <laughs> they do really good ears here. Now in Disney they're like $25 and here they're only 10. This will start an argument on my channel but I bought these last year and absolutely hated them. Honestly I don't get the hype. It was like eating uncooked cookies. We fell in love with honey mustard on our trip to New York so we're gonna grab some because our one tastes slightly different to the American one. Yeah. That Fruit Loops is massive. How much is that? We're honestly gonna be in this shop for hours. We've ended up coming to a super Walmart and it is massive, absolutely massive. Carter, you missed the goldfish. Here. So we have Lucky Charms and the... Rip-off version. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What's the price difference? Compared to? Oh, 350 difference. I think everyone's over prime now. It's everywhere. Is this just me or is 1948 for 42 packs of crisps extortionate? So what's that? 16 pound? Wow. Yeah, that's perfect. 2% or do you want to get that one? Uh, whole milk. Or, we've been here half an hour and we've only been down like four aisles. This shop is massive. I'm just trying to find my half and half. Ah, I got it. Should I get a small one? Yeah. How many bags do you think? Huh? Fifteen? <laughs> one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. This time they didn't put just one item in a bag. Normally that's what they do and you come out with about 20 bags. But now we've done all our shopping for today. We're gonna head back to the resort. I'm gonna do like a resort tour. We're gonna have a little walk around because I've never seen this one before. And then we're gonna head to the pool. But the skies look as though it's gonna rain. They did say there was a storm in the Bahamas coming up and this afternoon we're meant to get quite a bit of rain. So I'm hoping we can head to the pool before it does start to rain. Before I put all the stuff away, I thought I'd just quickly show you what we bought. We bought our own toaster that we bought in Walmart on our last trip. So I got some bagels and some bread for breakfast. My favourite, Twizzlers. Tyler put in some Jolly Ranchers. Pop-Tarts, which are the s'mores flavour. I've never tried them ones. And then Tyler wanted some chewing gum. Cream cheese for the bagel and butter. Honey mustard, we fell in love with this when we were in New York and the ones back home don't taste the same so we've grabbed one to take home. And then goldfish, milk for cereal and my half and half. Got some plates, sour cream and onion crisps. I grabbed these in case the boys just wanted a quick lunch around the pool, you just add water to that. And then they put in their cereals. We ended up switching out the Fruit Loops for these fruit spins <laughs> because it was like $4 cheaper. And, oh, didn't we get another cereal, Geth? No. You put it back, did you? Yeah. And all of this came to $63.60. It's all on my Apple Watch, which was £49.43. That is the least we have ever spent in Walmart. Normally on our first day, we spend about $100, $150. So I'm going to take £43. Now, I've just got to try and work out how to get all of this in the fridge, because the fridge is teeny tiny. Well, that fitted in a lot better than I thought. I didn't realise the shelves come out, so I've taken one out. And now we've got plenty of space. In amongst that $60, I forgot to say, Carter did pick up a baseball and bat as well. So all of this 
came to the $63. We were gonna go by the pool, but I don't know if you can tell, but it started to rain. They did say rain was coming from 12 till about three. So we're gonna do a little walk around the resort now, because I have no clue what this one's about. And then later, hopefully the rain is gonna stop and then we can head to the pool. But it's getting heavier and heavier. I just had a heart attack. This lizard just ran straight across my feet. <laughs> my heart literally just sunk. Wait till the boys see this. This is huge. It's like three times bigger than the All Stars. Which way should we start? Should we go left or right? Left? Wonder if this takes you to the 90s then. That's got to be the 70s because it's got platforms and flares. So the 80s and 90s are still further on. The 80s and the 90s are a lot further out. Bigger Rubik's Cube. What's that, a disc? Yeah, floppy disc. I really wanted to be in the 80s and 90s section because that's when I was born and then I grew up in the 90s. I am so glad they put us in the 50s because this is quite a trek. And that's when you were really born. Huh? That's when you were really born. I wonder if Tyler knows what a Walkman is. But oh, they've even got 90s music playing. The year I was born, the last episode of, do you say MASH or M-A-S-H, <laughs> draws the largest audience for a single TV show, 125 million viewers. <laughs> what was that? I jumped on my skin. I'm talking about gators and something just nearly jumped out at me. So this is the 70s, then you've got the skyline. So our room should just be over here then. Good. Our location of our room is perfect. We are one minute walk to the main like reception area and the food court and literally another one minute walk to the skyline. Oh, this is a cool pool. It's got sprinklers and everything. There's lizards in there. <laughs> and then back to our section. They've actually got bowling balls by the side of the pool and the pool is shaped like a pin. If you were on a package holiday in Spain or Greece, you would never get a sun lounger at one o'clock in the afternoon. Are you joking? There's no point getting out, you're gonna get wet anyway. They have a laundry service, so you can literally wash and dry your clothes and you can put them in and go for a swim why are you waiting? We spent an hour down at the pool and then we went back to the room and had a nap. Because we were up at half past three this morning, we were all shattered. But now we all had a shower and got changed and we headed back out the door. We're in Kissimmee and we're going to one of our favourite restaurants. We're going to Uno's. Actually, I've just remembered. Ged, we need to put the shield on the car. We forgot to put it on when we went back to the room earlier and this car was boiling. <laughs> I'm just trying to sign into our Kids Eat Free card. I purchased this when we were at home for about £12 and there's so many restaurants that kids can eat free at. But I'm struggling with the Wi-Fi. I did fancy a steak, but there's so many nice things on this menu. My options are changing. You enjoyed that deep, fr the deep dish pizza, didn't you, last time? That looks like a good steak. Have you seen the size of this, Geth? Oh, you got mozzarella sticks too. <laughs> that cheese is uh, forever going. Mm. What sauce is on it? Honey. Okay. Hey Tyler, why are you giving me? It's like a coleslaw. I know food in America at the minute is expensive, but you can do it cheap if you wanted to. What we've just eaten for a family of four was fifty-two ninety-four. I'm impressed with that. It's like a chili's price. <laughs> Who's winning? On you. You're gonna have to roll me to Disney Springs. I am bursting. You struggling there again? Do you need to help you? Did you realize what was next door? Yeah, Chili's. Even though we only went to Chili's last night, I could still eat it tonight. Actually, I could eat it for every single meal for the rest of this trip. I just love that place. But now it is Hopper Six. Actually, I can't believe it's only half past six. Because we've been up since half past three, today has lasted forever. But now, we are gonna make our way to Disney Springs and do a little bit of shopping. The balloon's up. I had a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, you didn't like it at all in Paris, did you? 
It's so much more easier to park in grapefruit rather than going over to the lime. Well, let's look for the green spots again. I love this. There's a green light that tells you about this. You can park there. And all the red ones obviously tell you you can't park there. The UK need to adopt this system. Can you see all the lights going down? When they're green, there's a space free. And then when they're red, they're not free. But you know when you're driving down and you can clearly see where is free or not? It's just an epic system. The little things in life. That is one thing that we learned from our last trip, that the lime garage is always full. I don't know how we ended up in the grapefruit garage the last time. That's the only one we'll ever park in because there is so many spaces and there's always a queue for cars to get into the lime garage. Just to show you, levels one, two and three are already full. <laughs> Did I miss you? What are they? Oh, churros. They're cool, aren't they? Are they churros? This is the one I want on this trip. How nice is this? It's all glittery. And it's the 100 one. Your face is a picture. How much is it? It's either this one. Oh, is it not 85? Oh, 78. There's a bag that I want in the Floridian when we stay the night. If not, I'm gonna come back for this one. So the queue for Gideon's starts here. Let's see how long it is. The queue for Gideon's Bakery is a good hour's wait. And then when they open the door, there's another queue inside. And it's all just for a cookie. I've heard it's a good cookie though. So I'm gonna try and get here one morning super early so I don't have to queue in that because I do wanna try one. That's us calling it a night. It is now eight o'clock. So I don't think we've done too bad considering the time we got up this morning. So we're just gonna go back to the- slide right. Every time I go to speak. But we're gonna go back to the room now, chill out and watch some TV. We were planning to go to Typhoon Lagoon tomorrow, but there's a storm on its way. Drive, then you will arrive at your destination. At the minute, the storm's in the Bahamas and it's gonna make its way over to Florida during the night. So we may need to take a rain check. Uh, rain check. <laughs> we may need to take a rain check on that one. So who knows what we're gonna do tomorrow. But if you would like to see future Walt Disney vlogs, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that bell for post notifications. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.